Hi, Rebecca. Terry, hello. Shashkia. Good morning or good afternoon, good evening. <laughs> I know everybody has a different time zone right now. It's still uh, morning here in California. It's 11 o'clock. Hi, Petra. Jackie from Oregon. Hello. Hey, Joe. Angelique. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Everybody can hear me okay? Hi, Hemp. Hi, Femke. <coughs> Deborah. Jacqueline. Just waiting for a little bit more people to come in. Sounds good? Okay, perfect. Okay, that's good. Always worries me that uh, something is not working properly. But it looks like everything is good. Hi, Petra. Anja, you yeah, sounds good. Okay, great. Okay, looks like just double checking a couple of things here. Making sure everything else looks good. Good and clear. Hi, Teresa. Torres, thank you. Okay, so looks like we got a good amount of little ice already here. Okay, well, hello and welcome. I'm Angelica Turner and I will be uh, creating a little Christmas bell ornament today. Uh, I did already a lot of prep work, so hopefully we can I can get through it uh, by the end of this live. I'm going to go ahead and switch my camera now to my table. Here we go. So I am going to be doing a little bell. And let me go through the uh, product I'm going to be using. So let me put this off to the side. So I'm going to be using the 2156 Joyous uh, Ornament, the bell. And I am cutting the two, the large, the large bell and the uh, the little topper. So I did cut seven of those and I already scored and um, glued six of them. I don't think you wanted to watch me trying to glue these for about half an hour just because they have so much, it's, they're so intricate and it takes a little bit of time to glue, especially this amount. So I do have one here still that um, will score uh, and then finish off the the actual bell here. So I'm going to be using that one. I will also be using the 2152 lace florals. I'm going to be using those. The 2157 joyous ornament stars. I'm going to be using the little circles right here. Um, so I can uh, use, I'm going to use those uh, as decoration for the florals. Uh, I'm also using the 2151 Florals 29, some of the little holly greenery from 2153, and I'm using uh, some of the numbers from 2175, the pockets to uh, this one is from Esther's newest release. So I'm going to put those off to the side. Is everyone... Hey Robin, Wilma, hello. Yes, and don't forget to like, comment, and share for a chance to win the $50 gift certificate. So please like, comment, and share. And let me do something real quick. Okay, 
So here we have our little bell. Like I said, I already have six pieces die cut, scored down the middle, and glued. Um, they are um, just back to back. So here's one piece glued back to back with its next second one, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and then I have the seventh piece right here. So I'm going to go ahead and get my scoring board. And I'm just going to go, uh, this one's a little bit too thick. Let me grab this one. Uh, so I'm just going to place it where you can see that line, the scoring line on the five right here is going to go right down the middle of that bell. I'm just going to run my stylet my bone folder down the center, making sure that I don't press too hard. That's what I do three passes. I don't want it to tear. So I did three passes there, uh, not too hard to, uh, to do the scoring on that. And then I'm just going to fold it in half. So you can see it lines up perfectly. And then you have that. Now I also have, and I'm not sure yet if I'm going to be using these, uh, but I have also seven of the little toppers and I, have, I do need to score that one as well. So let me do that. Trying to read your, your uh, comments real quick. As, uh, same thing, just down the center with a bone folder. And let's get this guy out of the way. And then fold it in the middle. Now I'm using, for this particular project, I'm using uh, silver mirror cardstock, but you can use pretty much whatever uh, material you want, whatever paper. So I'm going to go ahead and glue uh, this side to this side. So we have one more, one more fold. And I don't do every single little line. I'm sticking to the edge of the bell and then towards the center right here. So we have a tight fold a little bit on these large, those long lines that go from the center to the top. And just a little drop here and there, make sure that we have a good flat seal on that. And then with that, with the uh, Liquid glue, I have a little bit of time to get that right alignment. You know, usually I, it kind of drops and ended up a little bit off, but with the, with the liquid glue, I have time to kind of shift it a little bit and get it completely aligned with the other side or with the other piece. Hi, Terry. Okay, so here is our bell. Now I haven't glued these two pieces, the last two pieces, because what I want to do is I'm going to run either some twine um, to put, to um, add the extra little decorations I'm going to put on this bell. Now I do have some poncerias that I cut out of uh, red uh, cardstock, uh, one of the lacy florals out of the uh, silver cardstock. And I also have the, the little berry branches here. Now for this ones, I decided to do, um, instead of doing like, uh, little mini prills or micro beads or anything like that. I did cut the little 
berries out of uh, glitter cardstock and um, I cut two of the branches, uh, glued them together to make get them more sturdy and then I cut two sets of the berries because I wanted them on both front and back. Uh, since it's going to be a Christmas ornament, I didn't want the back side to show this white from the um, glitter paper. So what I did to put these together, I already put this one completely together. So as you can see, this one is completely assembled. Again, two of the branches out of uh, brown cardstock, and then the berries, I had them on the front and back. So you have the pretty sparkle on both sides instead of that stark white uh, from the from the uh, glitter cardstock. So what I did on the berries is I cut two pieces and because they're I, they're not all exactly the same shape and exactly the same uh, size. Uh, where did I leave my... Uh, I went ahead and cut two pieces and then I went and so you can see I have two rows right here. They're the same size. And I wanted to make sure that I glued the same size next uh, with the same size. I didn't end up with a larger berry uh, with a smaller one. So here's my two sets. These two are going to be going one in the front, one in the back. And I'm going to go ahead and glue them to the last few spots that I have here. So I have one and two. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this one right here. And then second one over here. Then I'm going to turn it over. And see how you have that white there from the cardstock? I didn't want that. So now I'm going to take the other ones and glue them on the back like this. So because I made sure that I'm using the same sizes together, they are, so the little branch is sandwiched in between the two berries, one in the front, one in the back. Now I have the last three, so I'm going to start from the bottom of the branch and work my way to the tip and I'm going to grab oops that one went backwards that and then oh that fell off I think it needs a little bit more glue there second one right there and then the last one over here okay See that and then see that that I, that's what I was trying to prevent and again uh, you can do that the berries from the uh, that I'm doing with the dies right here you can also do mini prills you can do um, glossy accents on it I mean there's a, a good variety of products that you can use to um to do the berries on this uh little branches so here we go so this is the second piece completed and this one's a little bit off so let me see if i can get it aligned there we go that's better so there's the two branches and um, I'll probably be cutting them off in sections once we start building the ornament. Let me get my glue it kind of clogged already. Okay. Okay, so now for so I have um uh, some flowers, I have some of the um Holly leaves here as well. Briefly trying to read your your comments <laughs> that are coming through. Okay, so um 
I cut all of these out of uh, red cardstock and then green cardstock. I do want a little bit of um, extra coloring on them. Let me put this on so we can do some color. Just a little bit of extra shading or to get a little bit of variation in the colors. Okay, so first we're going to go with the leaves. Let's see if this color, yeah, that helps. So just a little bit and mostly towards the base of the leaf. that and then so let's do that to all of the leaves real quick And then I'm going to do this on a little bit of more color as well on these uh, pine needle branches. Let's just add a little bit of color to each. Again, I'm just doing it kind of at the base of each little branch. So I have a little bit of the, the lighter color from the cardstock and then the uh, little bit of a darker color from the ink. Uh, and let's do the, I need the smaller red. Okay, let me get the screen off the um, mat real quick. Okay, so for the flowers, for the poinsettias, I'm going to do uh, also the same thing with the uh, fire brick. So I'm going to just kind of add it to the uh, concentrate the color in the center and then kind of uh, blend it towards the tips of the petals. Okay, and then the second one. Here we go. That adds a little bit of more variation to the color. Now, let me get this out of the way. Uh, a little bit of uh, shaping. I don't think I want to do a lot of shaping here on this one. Uh, I think I'm just going to fold them like this break the cardstock just a little bit in the center of the petal of each petal and then fold it and then I'm just going to bring in from each petal towards the center to raise your flower like that very simple and quick. It's uh, a very quick couple of steps and it adds a good amount of dimension to your flower without spending a lot of time or pressure on the cardstock trying to trying to shape it. Oh, sorry you're late, Sandy. That's okay. You can uh, catch up on the. We um. We can uh, you can catch up on the replay. Um, 
once we're we're done. So here's that. And then the leaves, I think I'm just also going to just run it towards in the center. And then just do that. Hello, George. Hello, everyone. So here again, very quick way of shaping these. If you don't want to spend a lot of time uh, doing a lot of shaping, uh, this is a quick way to do these. And this one's... Uh, I'm just going to do just a little bit from the tip towards the base of each branch. I might end up cutting them apart once I start uh, putting together the uh, ornament. So that adds some dimension to to your little branch right there. Okay, get this out of the way. Oh, Cindy, oh, sh did you share with us what you made with the bill? It is a fun, it is a fun shape to work with. I love, I love how it, how it turned out. Um, okay, so I also cut two of these pieces, a green and a silver, and a red circle with the numbers from Esther's set uh, with a 2024 on it. So these two are going to go together. So I'm going, trying to figure out how I want to assemble. I made a couple of things here. I made a couple of little uh, charms with some uh, little red and uh, crystal beads. And then, um, so a couple of those with some jump rings, made those too. I wasn't sure how I wanted to um, uh, put it together. If I wanted to add those or just some twine through the center, uh, let me get this out of the way and put all my pieces here. Uh, and let's add some dimension to these little guys. These are going to be uh, the centers for our poinsettia. Um, I cut them out of the um, silver cardstock as well. So I'm going to take... Uh, Place them face down on the back and then just with a larger size stylus, um, kind of circle around on the back of each little, um, what is it, Be, um, bead or, or little circle. Just kind of trying to give it a little bit of dimension without getting the cut because it's a fairly thick cardstock, the, this uh, particular silver cardstock. So I don't want it to crack or break, but I do want it to get a little bit of dimension. So it just takes a little bit longer to uh, shape because of the thickness. I'm going to do the same thing with the second set. I think I'm only going to end up using two of them. Oh, thank you, Teresa. Hello, Karen from Texas. How are you doing? Welcome. And then the centers, so I want them to kind of brace like this. Okay, so 
I'm going to try to put together the flower and then figure out how I'm going to do the uh, assembling the whole the whole uh, piece together. Okay, we're doing grand time, so I think I'm going to do the silver one. So I cut one of the lace florals out of silver. I'm going to place it in between the both red ones. So be something like that. And I'm going to place it not centered to the one at the bottom, but off to the side a little bit. And then the next one will also be off to the side a little bit. Let me use something else to hold that in place so you can see the finish. So like that. So they're not centered to each other. They're kind of in thirds. So it looks like a fuller uh, flower. So like that. Okay, now let's do the little centers. And the next one. Just kind of offset them. And what I usually do to that center where you have the little, the little uh, centers crossing on top of each other. Um, I usually uh, like to put like micro beads or little uh, prills in there to fill it in and it adds a really cute, uh, a little bit of dimension and texture. So that is the floral. Uh, so now I want the flower, so I want these two to be glued and they're going to be on the back side of the flower. So here is our 2024 and this is going and then the flower is going to sit on this one. Um, let's see how many so we will have, let me move some of these stuff out of the way so I can see what the, uh, how it's going to work out. Okay, so I do want this on, so let me go ahead and glue them real quick to the top of the bell. So you're going to take one, make sure you don't glue it, you know, this one, this section right here is still open. And then we're just going to glue them to the top of the next section. Okay, then we have the next one. And that is just going to line up with the first one. And because it's, uh, I'm now gluing these on top of mirror cardstock. Sometimes it does take a little bit for the glue to dry when you're gluing them on, on mirror cardstock. And I'm getting glue all over them, but that's okay. I can wipe it down once, uh, once I finish gluing them. OK, 
Okay, the next one. Yeah, see what I mean? It's popping up. Okay, there we go. Okay, next one. Is that part? And here's the next one. Just kind of press it together so they glue through the whole thing. Okay, next one. Of course, you can put less, you can use less uh, die cuts, less bell pieces or more, depending on how fuller you want this, how many, how many uh, bells or little sides you want. So you can put as many or as little as you want on the, on this kind of project. I'm getting everything, I'm getting the glue all over my fingers, but the end result should be pretty, very pretty and elegant. Thank you, Petra. Thank you, Margaret. Okay, so we got one more, which I'm going to make sure I only glue to this side right here. So make sure that I don't glue it to that to this last one because I don't want it closed yet. I still have to figure out uh, to put a piece of. Uh, twine or something through it so I can uh, secure the uh, the flower and the little the little uh, beads okay so there we go okay so what I'm going to do now is um, I have some uh, twine that is white and I don't know if the camera is catching it, but it's got silver in it. So that would be a good fit for this particular project. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the twine through the center. And I'm going to take one of these little uh, beads or little charms that I created, and it already has a little, the little eyelet here or the little loop. So I'm just going to uh, put my twine through that and run it up the center. Actually, I probably need to tie it so it doesn't, if for some reason it wants to come loose, it wouldn't, it won't, uh, we don't lose that little, the little beads. Okay, so now that it's tied, I'm just going to run this through the center. Making sure that that 
hits right there. And now we're going to glue this whole thing together. And then on the other side, I have this piece of twine, and I'm going to cut this over here. Okay, so now we're going to close the bell. And make sure we glue that. I am going to put some uh, uh, fabric tack in there just to make sure that the twine doesn't come loose from the uh, from the paper. Sometimes the other glues don't hold it, don't hold the thread so good. Uh, or, or as good as uh, this one. So I find that I just usually kind of put a little bit, especially this part right here, I want it to hold in place and not come apart or the thread come apart loose from the center of the bell. Okay, so now that we have that in place, Now I'm going to put adhesive on the shape of the, on the actual bell, on all these little sections right here. And uh, glue it together so we have the finished bell. Make sure this center right here gets well glued and these are aligned perfectly. Okay, make sure I get this one at the top nice and glued together as well. And this is where I put a lot of that fabric tack in the center to keep that twine from uh, sliding out or coming off loose. And then there's the bottom. And then we have all our twine over here that we're going to use to hang uh, the, the floral arrangement. So that. And then, of course, we just need to kind of fold these ones a little bit so we have a more even design. Okay, so now we have that in place. Now I can go ahead and put together the florals here. And I'm going to have to cut these ones apart. Let me put this pin in before my glue gets clogged. Yep, it's getting, it's already clogged a little bit. Yeah, I find that especially if I'm using ribbons or some kind of, um, um, or threads, uh, I, I like to use the fabric tag. Uh, it just gives, uh, it's more secure than, uh, than using like the, uh, art glitter or any other any other glue so I like to use to use that okay so let's cut some of these here apart okay 
because I don't want the branches to stick too uh, too long. So I'm just cutting them apart so I can place have a better placement for them. So we're going to have some of these all around. We're creating a kind of a background for the flower. And then we have these ones that also are a little bit too long. I'm going to also cut them apart. Okay, let's layer some of this stuff. How's everyone doing? Good. Okay. So I want them just to kind of peek from uh, behind the uh, my poinsettia. And that's that green circle is giving me the um, base to go ahead and glue all of these pieces securely to the circle instead of trying to glue them to the back of the poinsettia. Okay, so let's see how we're going to arrange this so it looks Nice and I think I'm going to put this leaf at the bottom right here. It's one of the larger leaves. Another one over here on this side. Then one over here. Like that. I think I need some more of these. So I'll add some more of the pine needles. Let's see how this is going to sit like that. Just kind of uh, build in a little bit of those branches in the background. And get it a Get it a little bit fuller. Okay. Trying to keep an eye on the comments. Hi, Cindy. How dare they interrupt you, right? Well, it's it a little late, but you are here. 
and you can always catch the replay in a little bit. This one still feels a little bit too long. Okay, so let's try to get uh, this one down. And usually I like to do put the flower down first and then kind of build everything around it but all of these pieces are actually sitting right behind the flower so i have to um keep moving the flower out of the way to actually kind of tuck them right underneath the flower and glue them down before i can put the flower in place Thank you for liking, commenting, and share, and sharing the post. Okay, let's see how that looks. I think we're good there. Good amount of glue to get these to glue to that. Sorry, I think I'm getting my head into the camera here. Now I'm just making sure that I press that flower right into that bottom into the base. So there's the arrangement and if you turn it over then you see the little the little uh, berries you don't have that that's white edges okay so now that we have this put together we move the extra pieces out of the way here we're going to Place this about there. So it's going to sit right above the uh, the top of the bell. And then this is going to sit right on the back. And we'll have the uh, the little uh, twine that is going to actually go through this little hook right here that I already have set up on my piece, on my little beads. Just trying to get them, get this other piece through. There we go. So actually, I don't think the second one needs to go through the, no, the second one doesn't. The second one is going to stay hidden behind this. Okay. 
this. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is figure out which way my floor arrangement is going to sit. Uh, just like that. Okay. So I can glue part of this circle on the back. So I'm going to put glue on only half of that because I want to make sure I secure my um, thread or my uh, little piece of twine in the center before I close off this circle. Okay. I'm going to run it through like that, nice and tight, and then I'm going to run it back down so we secure the the uh, the twine into that circle. Going to cut the excess off, put it in there, and I am going to add a little bit more of that fabric tack just to make sure that it gets secured and it's not going to go anywhere or, you know, slowly uh, kind of fall apart from the. From the ornament and I did pull the other one out and this one fell out. There we go. Just making sure that everything is lined up and then the last glue on this half Make sure that I glue the edges. Like that. So when you have it, make sure this is centered all the way. There we go one as well. So here is the back or the back side. I'm going to call it the back side. Um, you can put uh, this already has a, a little loop on it so you can do a uh, little hook or ribbon, a piece of ribbon to hang on your Christmas tree. It's got the year and then you turn it over and I kind of pressed a little bit too much. I lost the, and then you have that with the florals, the little um, leaves, the pine needle branches, the sparkle from the, from the glitter cardstock. And then you have the, the finishing touch over here with the little crystals. And that will make a gorgeous little handmade ornament for your Christmas tree. You can do them as gifts for your friends and family. Uh, what better than a handmade Christmas tree, right? Christmas tree ornament, right? And I think, uh, yay, we were able, I was able to complete it. Again, here's that look from the back. Uh, I also thought if you're doing, you could do this circle right here instead of the year, you could do a little picture, like a family photo or something like that. You can put on that as well. That would be kind of cute. Uh, just a little family photo of the year. So there you go.
thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed uh, this little tutorial. Uh, let me switch over the camera real quick. So thank you. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing what you make uh, from this tutorial with your Christmas ornaments. Uh, hope everybody, uh, everyone has a great uh, rest of your day or evening. Uh, I know in some places it's a little bit late uh, already. Uh, have a great weekend, everyone, and I will be seeing you around. Uh, take care. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.